another raid. Asian boy was kidnapped. Toll House is down. I can't I can't make them drop Toll House. And he's the one with the tier five side cast. It's unfortunate. I need some more incapable pawns. Okay, let's see what the tin quality is. Hey, no, no, no. Hang on. We want to do that in the light. That's the best bed. Rooms are the same cleanliness. So let's choose a medical for this. Have you lay down? Let's see what the tin quality is with Marcus doing it. Marcus Martin. Can you get better than a 3.2%? Marcus Martin. 13. Oh my God. Wow. 254. 46% more tending to go. Kid has a two in medical, but they also have a reduction because of their, um, I'm just being a kid. Medical tin quality. Their value is 38%. This is still better, actually. That's kind of crazy. So I guess I should have a kid do it. <laughs> That's so silly. Ah, oh, freaking plague. Welcome to the jungle. And sensory mechanites. <laughs> God. Uh, another disease. Sensory mechanites makes things better aside from the pain and, yeah, the mood in general. So they'll have a debuff from pain and from being sick. So serious pain and sick. Minus 15. 33%. Way to go, kid. Way to go. One more 10 like that, and we'll finally be over muscle player sites. He's at 288. And 10 again in two days. Slow and steady. Only option. Oh my god, how are you doing? Okay. Survive the plague. Alright, kid. We need just a 12% or better. Come on, kidnap me, please. Oh my god, it was a zero. We have to wait two more days. Exile that child. Paralytic Abasia. <gasps> Incapable of violence. You will have dumb labor again, too. Oh, I need to uh, I need to convert them. Add cassowaries. Good God. Good Lord. No. The kid can go berserk. We gotta get rid of this kid. We literally can't fight back. Get him, elephant. Get him off a of panda. Freaking kid. Way to go, cantaloupe. Way to go. The problem is they die. We're gonna have another mood hit. And mood is so low right now. So I'd like to at least get something out of it by, you know. Letting him get kidnapped. And we're all starving. All right. Um, Marcus is literally starving to death. All right. Kid's dead. It's whatever. Uh, we can get a mood buff by going to the grave. But we need more food. How long until the next set of rice is in? Uh, tomorrow. Okay. Here's your breakdown. I'm going to have to have them eat it. All right. Eat that meal. Uh, feed Marcus. We gotta get him buried. We're gonna have a colonist left unburied. Consume? No, that would be really, really bad. There we go. No priest. So we gotta get the priest roll back then. That's gonna give them two higher expectations, which is really bad, but. And we got animal disease flu again. Okay, the rice is ready. Tin of cantaloupe. Ouch. What a day. Extreme heat stroke as well. I shut that door. We're kind of screwed if a raid spawns. We don't have an open path. Oh, uh, but we don't have any cloth left. I can't make them. And they're a nudist. Ugh. I should cool it down a little bit, even with the door open. And yeah, they're almost dead. Almost dead. If they start starving again, they're probably dead. Hey. We're back down to serious. Okay. How's the flu here? Minor. Okay, they're beating it. Marcus Martin is up. Just barely staying afloat right now. Elfin's looking like it's going to survive. Inversion, hooray! This is not really the pawn we want. Might try something on them, but cable dumb labor is really not gonna work for what I have in mind, but no, I kinda had an idea with Abasia. Probably a bad idea, but <laughs> we're gonna try it. Alright, elephant is over it, so let's put them back outside. Run's gonna ride. Just today alone has been so crazy. And now we're just kinda Randy is chilling out for a little bit, thank goodness. And we're just trying to get things in some kind of semblance of where they were before everything went to crap. All right, well, we are out of food again. I'm at supplier. Okay. All right, let's get rid of some of this crap. 
Actually, we just want to give it, I think. I do have trapped underground, so I could run them out before they get cabin fever, at least. Oh, they got cabin fever right as I said that. There we go. And uh, it should be a pretty environment now, too. So hopefully mood is finally headed in the right direction. We got uh, one more day of meals. Rice is ready to harvest. Okay. All right. Scraping it back together. All right. No negative moodlets for the first time and for friggin' ever. Hey, microelectronics. I'm really tempted to go with nutrient paste. Panda is, um, Panda is aesthetic, so Panda doesn't really care. It'll be a hit on Marcus. But uh, it would allow Panda to do more other things until we get more colonists. We can knock it out pretty fast. I really need to get to gun turrets, though. But I think we'll just knock out Nutrient Paste really quick. Plague on Panda. <sighs> Friggin' jungle. Should have went with Arid Shrublands. How we all doing? Ah, uh, you know. Just constantly getting screwed over on this run. <laughs> Okay, a refugee, we're going to take them, and if they're not capable of violence, we're probably just going to immediately get rid of them. Here we go. They have a knife, so... Yeah, they can't really do anything for us, so... Uh, are there any predators around that we could get you to maybe take care of while you're here? There's a panther right beside you! Oh no, we have betrayed him. So now the panther is... Oh no, I shouldn't have done to the panther. Just had that realization of his eye. I saw it running. That panda is still out. Oh, they got such a bad hit. Uh, I just had me get bit in the friggin' neck. Uh, let's run today, man. Let's run today. Oh, Lord. You better not let Cantaloupe die. This is on you, Marcus Martin. Cantaloupe. The best colonist we've ever had. What did he do? To oh, he, he cut off its head? Where'd he go, Cantaloupe? Where'd he go? Something's on fire. Yeah, it's all right. It's all right. Nothing of consequence. It's just the entire jungle. Okay, Panda is done. So they have Catharsis. And there's a man hunter. All right. Get in. an elephant in. What was that? Are you guys good? Okay. Let's run our way to turrets. Actually, you know what? Let's grab air conditioning really quick. I think I want to switch over to nutrient paste so they don't have to spend any time cooking. Uh, Savage Panda won't care because he's an ascetic. Marcus Martin will have a minus four, but whatever. Yeah, I think I'm going to do it. We're going to need... Uh, a little bit of steel for the hopper, too. Okay. Gut worms. Oh, I hit a beige. Oh, thank the Rimworld gods. Finally. <laughs> Thanks, Abasia. This is uh, this may be why it's worth keeping a, a crappy prisoner at some point. Just so there's a chance the disease hits the prisoner and not our colonists. Nice. Excellent. <laughs> now they're lying in their own vomit. All right, we got some food now. Research to turrets on the way. Uh, how close are we to making an ally? We need like 36 more rep with the purple people. Hey, did those two advanced components that we got from that quest early today, uh, did those burn down during the great, the great incident of two hours ago? At least run still going? Yeah, me either. It was, uh, <laughs> we were pretty much dead. We were pretty much dead. We need, like, Randy to go to sleep for about a year. <laughs> That's what we need. <laughs> Look pretty doomed there. Yeah, we lost our best pawn. And it's like, wait, what about me? I'm still here. I We lost our best pawn, yeah. Okay, so now you see Panda's actually getting through their other jobs and getting to the point where they can repair. That's what we want. We would be dead 10 times over if it wasn't for our elephant. Cantaloupe is a hero. Green pair of elephants down the line. Elephant gestation is pretty long, so the time from an elephant to get pregnant for uh, them to give birth and for the baby to grow up is like three years. So it's probably just better to, I mean, if, if they have babies, sure, but it's probably better just, you know, tame more. Like, going looking at it now or thinking about it now, I could have just, could have, once the base was getting destroyed, 
I could have ran both of them just to the, like the other side of the map. Doing so would have sacrificed Cantaloupe. Cantaloupe would have died in that fire, but we would have had two surviving colonists. I don't know. There's no, there's no good answer to what to have done in that situation with what we had at that time. Too much well to get another elephant. Yeah, another elephant will add more raiders than what another elephant could kill on its own. Like Cantaloupe can probably kill two people with melee weapons or maybe three people that don't have melee weapons. Especially if they're already weakened from traps. Who needs powerful sidecast when you have a cantaloupe? Uh, good point. It looks like, I shouldn't say anything, but it looks like Randy's giving us a little bit of break. This is the longest he's gone without doing something terrible to us today, so. Heat wave. Uh, well, we just got that wood. I can build the air conditioner, but uh, we don't have the stuff. <laughs> I don't think uh we have we have five more components we have the steel all right we'll just use these again for now hopefully it is a like minimum time one they can last like three and a half days or something like that but they can last as low as like a day and a half too almost at turrets that'll help even one turret just to like tank damage be nice okay we'll get that oh uh and a raid that's not all of them yep so we got four Itakin, all melee, multiple directions. So raids are up to four now. We probably need to get rid of Abasia. Unless that was a higher Randy roll, but. What do you mean get rid of Abasia? Abasia must leave. Sort of schedule on traders. Uh, Cassandra, they, they do. Yeah, Cassandra and Phoebe have a setting. That is that they try to give you a certain number of traders per year. And there is a, um, there is a time limit between them as well. Go, cantaloupe, go! Okay. So it's more of like, instead of a schedule, there's like, um, there's a cooldown time on the traders and there's a average amount of traders per year sort of thing. It's, it's tricky, yeah. So the longer tunnel, more traps means more raid points, which means more raiders. We did just recruit Marcus Martin who is doing our research. We're trying to get through research with him. And all we have left is Savage Panda from our starting pawns. And yeah, they're uh, they're good, you know? So sorry, Savage Panda, you know, you know how it is. Uh, they're good, but they're not, they're not great. We switched over to uh, Nutrient Pace, which is going to have a mood hit, but we just don't have the, the manpower or the colonist power to deal with it right now. We also have a Paralytic Abasia that joined and they've been getting these diseases. We probably won't keep them. So yeah, today is about just rebuilding and uh, and surviving, I suppose. Um, we're gonna try to get Panda's construction up. I really, really need a construction pawn. Our only construction pawn died. Um, Panda actually had like zero construction. They're now at five. Uh, I think we need them, what is it, eight for a geothermal? Yeah, it's eight for geothermal, so. The other bad thing too is our our best pawn was already a tier five side caster, so yeah, we really got screwed over. Yeah, we'll see what uh, what today holds here. Playing the waiting game, War Merchant. We do need a uh, shield belt. Hopefully, we're not in okay, flash storm. Hopefully, we're never in a situation where our main characters here are getting shot at or incapable of violence bonds, but you know it's eventually gonna happen. Uh, these guys though are war merchants, not yeah, they're they're tribal, so. We can see if there's anything we can sell to them really quick. Hey, look, they have some of those Toxalope. Yeah, we can sell those old weapons. And yeah, that's good enough for now. Clap hands, clap hands. Uh, I think it was two months. Your name always, even though it's not slap hands, always reminds me of that scene from The Water Boy. Slap hands, slap hands. Anyway, thank you, clap hands. All right, let's load this again. I know I could turn uh, hauling priority higher on them. Fix this a little bit, but... Old pocket full of luck you're sending my way. Ew, that sounds like used luck, Strawberry. I don't want any used luck. It's probably got lint on it and stuff. Thanks, I guess. Ew, linty luck. Already chewed. Ew, I think my luck has a hair in it. Ah, uh, gun turrets are done. Excellent, excellent. We need to get uh, the ability to call in an ally. However, we don't have any allies yet so we're gonna work on that as well um i'm actually thinking about going ahead and working on getting the genes because if we can put the incapable violence gene into someone that's gonna open up our pawn 
recruitment like dramatically then we could just find a great pawn and just make them incapable of violence yeah let's uh let's do that okay xenogenetics most minimalistic skills you could survive without could you play solo pawn without construction mining planting etc hmm which one can i survive the longest without probably without mining i guess i mean uh construction i'm gonna go with a no I mean, maybe it's possible, but it wouldn't it'd be very unusual. But I don't know. Planting, maybe, actually. We might, depending on if we keep a low on count and we hunt for food most of the time. Uh, planting is, is possible. Yeah. Mining is possible, too. Because without planting on the right map, yeah, you could hunt a lot. You could get um, herbal medicine and, uh, you know, berries. Uh, then you could trade as well. I don't know. I, I don't know that it would be fun, but I think it would be doable, yeah. Sleeping sickness. Uh Marcus Martin. Oh no. So he's also not um he's not super immune unlike the other. And check this out. Savage Panda has a whopping three in medical. Crap. We might be going back down to one here. The jungle experience. It's so fun. I highly recommend you play on the jungle. 80 plus. Nest right outside a mountain. Oh, oh, I got you. Any tips on how to survive or just watch them die? Uh, so there's a couple options, Dig Dug. So you can either do a melee block uh, and kill them all. I did a melee block. You can check out the melee run that's going up on YouTube. You can check out uh, the dwarf run. I did a lot of melee blocks against bugs in the dwarf run. Because it was a mountain base. You can either do a melee block and kill them. If they're in an enclosed area, you can light that area on fire. Or... You can wait until something comes through there and the bugs kill them. Now, if you um, have your base completely closed off and a raid spawns and the bug hives are accessible, the raid will actually go attack the bug hives. You can force them over there. Now, when the bugs win, if they win, uh, depending on how close to the, your base they are, they're going to come after you. So you need to be ready to um, a melee block at that stage or burn them at that stage. But yeah, you can absolutely leave them if it's not going to crash your game from how many there are, like, in the lag you out. Um, you can leave them and wait for them to get taken care of, or the easiest way to kill them yourself would be to do a, a melee block, which um, easiest to show you, or easiest to see if you go to the uh, one of the runs I'm talking about. Uh, one of the downsides, I mean, sleeping sickness, it's a disease, so it's all downside, but one of the extra bad things about that particular disease is that it lasts a long time. It's kind of like super malaria. Super malaria. That's what I'm going to call it. That's what I'm calling it. Uh, is it super malaria because it's awesome? No. Is it super malaria because it wears a cape? No. It's like a worse version of malaria. It, it can only occur in the jungle. Or in tropical maps, I should say. Only happens in tropical maps. And it lasts quite a while. It requires a decent amount of tending. I mean, usually you can... You can deal with it as long as you tend it every time it's up, but they're going to be down for for a while. I think malaria you can tend it more often, so the tin quality on malaria doesn't matter as much as long as you get the tending in in time, but in general, obviously, it's not good. All right, we need to... Let's go ahead and load this, and then we need to get these traps stack up because um, we probably still have some adaption factor. So for anyone that doesn't know, the adaption factor in RimWorld is a system where if you have a pawn that's been violently downed or a pawn that's been killed, lost, kidnapped, you know, whatever, you lose a pawn, the game is like, oh, this this person is having a bad time. Let's make the game a little easier for a little while. And it's called adaption factor. So it'll actually reduce your raid points for a while. Uh, with the deaths, we had two deaths and a lot of destruction not long ago. So the adaption factor is probably still going... So our next raid, if it happens relatively soon, will probably be pretty small. But I still need to get these up, because you never know. You never know. Transport pod. What are you? You're at the edge of the map. You are a trap. What does Adam have against traps? No, no, no. no. The, the original definition of trap. But yeah, we're going to try to do gene extracting. I didn't make the, um, the gene, the xenotype. I didn't make it too complex so that we uh, can pretty easily extract all that we need. So that, that's that's the main reason. But yeah, I have to get the gene extractor. That's what we're working on right now. Hey, he's over his sleeping sickness. Hooray. How hard would a run on a polluted map be if you're not allowed to use any anti-toxic genes? If you are doing 
it's gonna depend on your like ideology and stuff i mean you could you could do it you could live off mushrooms and stuff even if they don't like them but yeah it, it does add some complications to it right so it's definitely doable though you could start off on a completely polluted map especially with the right ideology and no just baseliners and you could get it done you could try to collect those genes or get to the point where you uh you get the anti-toxic body parts or whatnot yeah that's absolutely doable it, it'd be a rough start though uh first raid of the day so 190 ish raid points it's three enemies there is someone that's good at construction but they we'd have to give them the gene you know so we can't really we're nowhere near that yet so we're gonna we're gonna have to wait they're not in cable violence obviously it's a raid so all right here they come Oh, nice. Nice. All right, first rainy event of the day. Uh, yeah, so I don't really want Abasia. They're just increasing our raid points. I don't really want them. We don't really need them. They kind of overlap with Marcus Martin. In this playthrough, we don't, uh, we don't really care for that. So, I could do a public execution. Wait, wait, wait. Are they still... All oh, right. They will die from Psychite's withdrawal. We just leave them there. I think I'm just going to go ahead and kill them. <laughs> They're taking up food and time. Should have killed them already. All right. Uh, murder it is. Murder it is. Murder. All aboard the murder train. I don't know that they can... Can they even execute? I've never even tried. I doubt they can because they can't slaughter. Hang on. But we can do public execution? Let's try it. Our modest fellowship expands. No, because they're unconscious. It's so weird. Why is this lit up, though? That's what threw me. Hmm. That's it. That's interesting. Able of execution, too. Yeah, but you can do it here if they were able to walk. So it's showing us as an executioner. That's so weird. So to execute them, I'd have to give them some psychite tea. Let's see if that works. I I'm really curious now. So operation administer psychite tea. All right, let's try that. All right, so Abasia can walk now. The thing is, they're also our genes. Man, I don't know. Execution's not violence. Yeah, so we can do that. We don't really want or need them. They could help us get research done, but they're going to add so many more raid points that it's really not helping us. Crafting isn't super important in this one either because we're not crafting weapons. It's going to be a while before we craft anything. It would help us to get the genes faster. Um. Yeah, I'm going to keep them to try to get the genes. And they might be on the front line of uh, people to get kidnapped. So, okay, we're gonna need a new bed. Uh, let's throw a bed for them in here. Actually, we'll, we'll, we'll make this into a barracks for them. It's fine. All right. Uh, we need to get a new research bench. And Beja, get out and cut some wood. What's wrong with you? And we gotta get a Beja name too. Haravex. You might be sacrificed as a kidnap target. So, way to go. Way to go, finally getting in a run. Looks like you've waited over two months. So we need to keep an eye out for a construction person and a mining person. Construction mainly, though. Robber camp. Yeah, let me head right on over. Fast healing. Yeah, I can't use the elephant clot, like super clotting and fast healing. Could you imagine, Cantaloupe, if you could be a genetic monster? All right, so that should allow us to get uh, another research bench done. All right, load that up. Ah, oh, we got a wild person that's wandered in. And I can't do anything about it. Tantrum. Gonna break things in the room. That doesn't seem very non-violent of you. Panda. Oh, no. I might be the end of the run. Two cougars. That might be the end of it. Crazy. We might lose our last uh, gene here. If, if Panda decides to go outside, I think we actually have to leave this open, hoping that the cougars hit these traps. Oh, Panda. Oh, Panda's up. Nice. 
Okay. Oh my god, the wild person is gonna eat that guy. Are you even a cannibal? Nope. <laughs> Just friggin' throws it on our table. Do, 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 do. What'd you eat of it? You ate his entire leg? He might eat corpses, but he has some manners. He's not gonna eat without a table. Cantaloupe saves us again. We really need some traps up. Animal disease, plague on cantaloupe. Good God. Cantaloupe has had so many diseases. There you go, cantaloupe. Over to the, the plague room, I guess. Playroom? No, 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 not playroom. Pl plague. Plague room. Um, let's go ahead and research IDs. That seems kind of, kind of violent of you. No, 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 it's not. For some, some reason, it's not. Cable violence will absolutely build IDs and blow people apart. That, is, that doesn't matter to them. They have to draw this line somewhere, but that line is somewhere after blowing people into tiny pieces. Some, somewhere between blowing people into tiny pieces with an ID and blowing people into tiny pieces with a mortar. The, the non-violence line is somewhere right in the middle there. We don't, we're not sure where, but uh, that is roughly where it is located. I didn't blow them apart. The ID did. They shouldn't have walked there. I just, I just make high, uh, you know, high explosive landmines for a hobby. It's not my fault. Did you place any signs that said caution IEDs in the area? No, because I saw this, I saw this, uh, this YouTube clip where this person that said they were a lawyer said, don't put those kind of signs because that opens you up for lawsuits. Oh, okay. Yes, that makes sense. There's a mod that has minefield signs. Really? <laughs> That's pretty awesome. I know we always say there's a mod for everything, but I'm still astounded sometimes for just how many there really are. Okay, mass animal insanity. We want to close this door so that um, we don't uh, use up a bunch of the traps. Well, they were here quick. Mad chinchillas, 303 raid points worth. So almost double the other raid point event. Don't know which of those was a normal roll, which was a double, which was a one, you know, whatever. 1.5, I guess I should say. Not a double. Randy rolls in mysterious ways.